I'm working on an arch top guitar top right now. Um, I already roughed it out to the, the shape I want it to be a few days ago, but that's an extremely messy process with lots of wood chips and dust, and I really couldn't uh, record any of that. But you can see I've got the inside looking nice and smooth. The, the depth of the arch is just about five-eighths of an inch. Um, shallow compared to some arch tops, but this is uh, inspired by the old Gibson L7 guitars, and I've, I've had great success copying the design, including the, uh, the shallow arching of the soundboard. Usually, at least with my arch tops, they're at least three quarters of an inch deep, but uh, the, the old L7 was only five-eighths of an inch, and it seems to work really well, so I'm doing the same thing with this one. Um, what I'm doing now, I've, I've got the whole top roughly about uh, a little less than a quarter of an inch thick, and it sounds kind of dead when I tap on it. I, I, I doubt that it comes through very well, but what I'm starting to do now is graduate the top so that it stays pretty much the same thickness in the center but thins out quite a bit at the edges and as I do that it becomes much more resonant and uh, I'll just keep carving away until I I hear the sound that I want to hear when I tap on it. So I use round bottom planes and scraper blades to remove wood from the the outer surface. I guess this is backwards from how most people build arch tops. Um, apparently the right way to do it is to carve on the inside until you get the sound you're looking for, but I've always done it this way. I get good results and so I don't really see any reason to change. plane cuts on the pull stroke, whereas the one I had been using cuts on the push stroke. So if I want to take off a little extra wood, I like to use the pull stroke. long way to go still, but I'm going to try removing some wood with scraper blades now, um, just to, to keep my curves nice and smooth. I don't want to do too much with the planes because they tend to gouge the surfaces a little more, so I'll do some scraping. want to make sure I'm maintaining symmetry, so I, I just do that by feel. I've been at this for a while and it's starting to sound different to me, although who knows if it shows up on the tape. But I can hear it a certain resonance from the plate vibrating. And I couldn't hear that before. And the more I carve, the, the better that'll become. So I'm going to keep carving now.
doing this for quite a while now. It's evidenced by the pile of wood on the floor. So now, when I tap all around, I'm hearing the, the responsiveness that I'm hoping to hear. Um, I really don't know what pitch it is. I know there are people who tune tops to a certain pitch, but I'm always just listening for the way the wood resonates as I tap on it. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this for now. So what I'm going to do is just sand it to get all the scratches out from the scrapers. And then uh, after I assemble the body, I'll do some final um, graduations on the top. But uh, for now, I, this is just where I want it to be.